Welcome along guys, we are back in the Japanese garden for another comparison video. We've got two absolutely beautiful Italian beauties behind me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not you Greg. <laughs> We've got the Tuono, the new 2021 Tuono and the new 2021 Street Fighter in that lovely satin black, matte black. Oh, it's gorgeous. But don't go anywhere because we need to roll the intro. In this video, we're going to be comparing these. We're going to be riding them. We're going to be deciding which one would suit you if you're in the market for an Italian B4 naked. Chop seat or Gregory, roll, roll the, the intro. intro. So welcome back to the Japanese garden. Welcome back, Gregoire, Thank for you. this comparison. I know you all love Gregoire. You know, like, oh, what's his channel? Give me some details. <laughs> he ain't got a channel. He's exclusive to Lamb Chops I'm Rides. I'm sure they don't say that. <laughs> they do, they do. But it's nice to be back anyway. No worries, I'll just drop my phone. So today we've got the ultimate test, really. Two premium motorcycles, two premium That's Italian cool. beauties. Um, and these bikes are they're up there, aren't they? they are these really the are. only V4 Nakeds you can buy? I think there's no other V4 Nakeds. These, so. If you want a V4 and you want a Naked, it's it. between it, these are it. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Oh, it's not a bad old day though, is it? A couple of V4s to mess about with. Wow, this is, this is like the Italian pinnacle, isn't it? The pinnacle of Italian Nakeds. Yeah, it's, it's incredible to get a chance to do this. I'm, I feel quite honored. So it's the ultimate test ride, isn't it? If you want to buy one. Back to back. If you're not sure which one you want to buy, a Street Fighter or Tuono, this is the way to test them. So the big one, performance. Yeah. Performance of the bikes, all everything, handling, speed, the whole package. You can start on this one if yeah. you want. Yeah, well, um, they're obviously both extremely good. Oh, um, extremely, they? <laughs> extremely. They're mental, they're aren't they? are mental fast. They're so, so fast. And I think my observation on the Aprilia to start with is, a lot of the reviews that I've read talk about the fact that it's only 177 horsepower now. Uh, forget that. <laughs> In the real world, it's yeah. so fast. You can't really rev it out very easily. It easy feels no slower than that, does it, to ride? No, we, we've uh, done a drag uh, race as part of this, and it is fractionally slower, it's, but it's, 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 it's no it's, real no, world. Real world, no it's, it's marginal. And I think real world mid-range is stronger, quite a bit stronger, I'd yeah. say. Certainly the bottom and the low retrons of the revs. Yeah, yeah. It's a missile. Um, they're both missiles. The Ducati, by contrast, the, the throttle feels quite lazy, doesn't it? Yeah. And, and again, in relative terms, because they're obviously fast bikes. But <laughs> yeah. when you ride them back to back, and when we're together riding, that's sort of gone by the time that builds yeah. a little bit. And you need to give that loads of throttle movement, don't you? Whereas on the Aprilia, it's, it's much yeah, more subtle, it, isn't it? It is. And we've, um, and we've sort of said you need to finesse that in the past, haven't yeah. we? To get yeah. the best out of it, especially a bit like the RSV4 as well. But... It's almost like the opposite of the Ducati. The first half turn does Doesn't nothing, do does no. nothing. And then no. it's almost from the half turn onwards. Exactly. It's a mapping thing. It's how they've set it. It's how they've sort of made it more safe, I suppose. I know the Panigale used to be the same. Yeah. Last year's Panigale had the, in the race mode. Now it's got a race two mode, which is a mate brought in some aggression to the throttle response. As you say, they've done it just so that people can ride it. Yeah. But I think they've taken it too far. Yeah. And actually it's either a little bit placid and then it turns into like a ballistic missile. I'd prefer it was a little bit more ballistic yeah, just in that mid-range. More um, initial. More initial yeah. it, it buy. And it actually doesn't, it sounds a bit odd, but I don't think it feels that fast in the lower rev range. Mm. Yeah, certainly by comparison it doesn't. Yeah. And I think, forget these two, I think compared to other Super Nakeds, it doesn't feel that fast. Yeah. And I would expect a 208 horsepower Naked to be rampant, and it is, but only at the very you, at the you, top. You'd be it? expecting yeah. to the front wheel to be in the air, you'd yeah. be fighting it. It's not like that at all. No. I'm sure they could do an A2 version of this, because it, it's that stable, it's that it, it planted. Is, yeah. it, it, and that front wheel just doesn't really want to come off, come off the ground. And I've got the wheelie control off, I've got the traction controller. It's still so stable. It's just that flat throttle, and, and yeah. that is, I think maybe if you had a pipe and the Ducati yeah. do an up map for it, yeah. that may liven up a little bit more, but yeah. it's just a little bit flat on the a throttle. Little bit flat. But that aside, handling oh, both per perfect. incredible. Took, I mean, the performance category, the Ducati, you can ride so quickly, yeah. so easily, 
It's incredible, isn't it? And so it doesn't stable. ever get out of shape. It is literally light on rails and it's so easy, isn't yeah. it? It's almost, it almost removes the rider from the equation. It's, it's, it's that easy. <laughs> it is, um, yeah. And you know, it's, it's probably a good thing for most riders. For me, it's a little bit unengaging yeah, because of it, because it's a little bit easy, isn't it? But, um, but the performance of both is amazing. The Aprilia, in my mind, is more involving. Yeah. Um, so that's um, a little bit more exciting, I think. Yeah, I, I, com I completely agree. But if yeah. you want to go quickly, either of these clearly are definitely a uh, good choice. There's nothing in it in the performance no. stakes, really, is it? No, they're fast. Both. Really fast. <laughs> really <laughs> very, fast. very fast. I think it's time for the drag race. Do it. <laughs> Bring it on. All right, a little drag race. A little drag race on the private road. Three, two, one, go. Drag race to 60. No, 60, not 160. Let's do a swap on the other bikes. So it's fair, because I'm a big fatty, so it's have got more weight to carry. First gear. Let me come alongside. To 60-ish. Ready? Three, two, one, go! There's not much in it. There's not much in it, but I think this just has a bit more at the top, doesn't it? Which is right, I mean, this is 200 horsepower, that's 180 in it, so I guess, I guess that's that, isn't it? But the, the electronics are amazing. Yeah. 200 horsepower bikes, you've got the throttle pinned in first gear, <laughs> and it just puts it all down. It's incredible, isn't it? Next point, quality of the bikes. So the Ducati is incredible quality, yes. and I think it does stand head and shoulders above any of the other naked mm. you know super duke all of them including the Definitely. Tuono yeah. it's just got the finish on everything you can just zoom in on any little yeah. part of detail on the yeah. bike yeah. and it's just you can't fault it, it you is, can really it's a beautiful see thing isn't it where your money's gone it's premium yeah. everything is premium about it i mean yeah. i've parked it up and people that are non-bikers talk to me about it they sort of like look over it i keep looking over it it's beautiful yeah in terms of engineering everything just looks top draw doesn't it it does really yeah. really good um and i mean it should be because it's expensive it's over 20 but they're grand. both expensive yeah uh, and i think by comparison the aprilia mechanically i think is very very good very nice um and it all feels li nicely made but i do have a little bit of a disappointment yeah. with the plastics yeah. they feel they feel a little bit cheap and certainly by the side of the ducati it doesn't it, feel as premium it, it does part side by side you can yeah. sort of notice it the plastics on that are i mean the, the, Toronto used, the factory version used to have a bit of carbon on it yeah. you know certainly the, the, the yeah. end of the last gen well obviously they were trying to clear a lot of stock because yeah. it was it needed a bit of a facelift let's yeah. be honest yeah so they were chucking on carbon bits and bobs and and yeah. that gave the bike a whole overall much higher quality yeah, feel no, I than, agree. than what it is this year I, I prefer the sort of new look and the fact yeah, that it's a I bit do. bigger yeah but i think that it looks like it's taken a little bit of a step backwards in terms of the plastic quality versus the previous one on not just the carbon i just think the whole thing just looks yeah. a little bit cheaper yeah um and um, which is a bit of a shame really yeah, it is. and the way around it for us would be we'd probably mod it a little bit, bit of carbon we'd add ourselves, but when you're at this price point, it's a bit depressing yeah. that you might have to do that straight out of the yeah. gate. Really. And, and it's things like the seat looks, you know, it's the yeah. red seat, which you mentioned before, but yeah. it looks a little bit plastic. It's yeah. certainly in the red as well. It does, yeah. Whereas you've got like the Alcant Alcantara, Alcantara seat, yeah. Alcantara yeah. seat on the Ducati. Yeah. It needs nothing, does no. it? It, really, no. I mean, it's, it has still got plastic mud guards and stuff, but they just look a higher quality plastic mm. than, than the ones on the Aprilia. Yeah. This is glorious. You're loving it, are you? Oh, it's amazing. Let's push them up the hill climb. It does change direction nice, this. So, so, I mean, that, that, that slightly flat throttle response does make it easy. Whereas I know the Tuono is quite lively on the throttle, isn't it? Whereas this, it's easy, easy peasy in the corners. Oh my God, this is nice. <laughs> the noise. What are you thinking then, Greg? What are you thinking? Because you've been quite excited about trying that, haven't you? Yeah, I have. I've been itching to try it again for weeks and weeks and I'm really I'm loving it. I really like it. Yeah, I'm not even convinced that I'm actually the fastest I am on this compared to other bikes that I've ridden. But, it's, but I don't know if I care, it's just so nice. Well, that's it, isn't it? We, 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 you're not buying these bikes for, as a, well, we wouldn't be buying these bikes as track bikes per se. So, you know, chasing lap times 
doesn't matter, does it? It's all about the thrill and the engagement of riding them, isn't it? Exactly. The sound of these things, I mean, V4s, the ultimate sound in motorcycles, so. in most people's mind. I don't think many people no. would, would argue with that. No. Um, the Ducati is a very, very strange sounding V4, isn't it? It sounds like a V20. It sounds like my old Super Duke when you're going through town on it. it it's it's very twin-like. When you get above sort of five, 6,000 revs, it, it develops a different sort of noise, yeah. but doesn't not a V4, a bit V4-y, but just like a slightly odd sounding twin. I wouldn't know it was a V4 if I didn't know it was a V4. You would never guess it was a V4, would no. you? No, and that's even on the ride bys. It doesn't, it sounds like a twin, yeah. but a little bit of a peculiar sound, yeah. sounding twin. The Aprilia by contrast is so obviously a V4, yeah. it's unbeatable on the sound. And yeah. I think, um, yeah, the sound on the Aprilia, it and even incredible. in stock form, it's... it is so unbelievable. It's yeah. sort of quiet, quiet, quiet. Then you get to about 5,000 RPM, and it clearly has a valve that opens yeah. in the exhaust. And it's really it quite is. an impressive sound. I don't think you actually need to change the pipe from a sound point of view. Absolutely. I'd not. only want to change it because I'm not sure of the look of it. Listen to this. Let's have, nice. listen. Let's have a listen. Let's have Still sounds nice, but it's just different, isn't it? It's just not got that classical V4 sound, though. Yep. One of the big things with new machines, especially performance machines like this, is electronics. And yep. sometimes uh, the electronics can ruin a bike. Yep. And and. This is a good reason why we've had this for a couple of weeks, these, because we've gone in, we've amazing. learnt about yeah. it. When I picked up the Street Fighter, I wasn't sure about that, that, I say that heavy engine braking. Yeah. It's all to do with the electronics and the suspension on this. Again, there didn't seem to be any difference between the different dynamic modes. So I've gone in and I've configured it and I've manually configured a softer mode for, for the street mode and stuff yeah. like that. And it really has a massive impact yeah. to how the bike rides. Yeah, totally. And I mean, on, on, the, on, the, uh, on the drag race we did, I mean, it was incredible that the wheels weren't lifting and you know, modern electronics are just we were amazing, aren't they? Literally to the stops in first gear, rolling start, only in first gear, because obviously you don't want to speed and break the law. Obviously. And it is inc afterwards, we couldn't believe how you could ride them like that full, and full they're completely in, in check. <laughs> and they really motor, but it, it doesn't, I mean, yeah. years ago, you literally would have just looped the bike, yeah, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. And, and it's um, incredible, but it doesn't sort of all start getting tied up in knots with electronics either. It's almost no, seamless, no. isn't it? Yeah. They, really, on both of them, on both of them. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and they're both really good electronics. I don't think Amazing. you can pick anything between them. What I like about the Ducati actually, yeah. is you can fully customise all of the standard rider modes. Yeah. Whereas on the Tuona, you can only customise the user mode. You Agreed. can't touch the, the, the other two modes, they're fixed. Yeah. Whereas you can fully customise these. Can you these. not change any of the pre no, modes No, you at can all. only Nothing change the all. user. You right. can adjust, assign different suspension so settings you, to them. That's all though. That's all it? you can do. You can't adjust. So you can have a soft bumps. suspension in, a, in sport. Exactly. if you so chose yes. but that's the only thing you, you can can't, change you can't adjust engine yeah. braking in those maps but i don't like i'm not convinced that's a major problem because that user mode on here is amazing it is and so you can just tweak one of the preset modes so that you've got the suspension setting of your choice and then the user mode which yeah. i've used most yeah. of the time you can have whatever you like on it, and the, it remembers it all the suspension on the tuono even though it's the it both got the owner's e ec2, EC2 system yeah. it seems better on the tuono it seems to be a wider range of adjustment agreed it's more noticeable the differences in the in the setting yeah. And I don't understand it either. This Aprilia suspension is probably, probably the best I've ever experienced ever in my it's life. It's really good. Isn't it's it? unbelievable. Yeah. The handling is perfect, but it is comfortable on the road. Yeah. And, and it's so refined, it feels plush. It's amazing. I think on the Ducati, it's still, for some reason, even though it's better and we've got it as we like it, it's still a bit too hard for yeah, my life. It, it, it is. I've got it, if you really have it as yeah. soft as possible, it doesn't seem as soft as you can go no, on that. And, no. and everything just is a little bit tauter on it. I mean, it could be preload because of course the preload yeah. is manual. Yeah. So maybe the preload set differently. Didn't check yeah. that, that's a good point. Will it have the same springs necessarily? It could have different springs. It might have different yeah, springs. They, they, so it I think it, it could, so then it's not about adjustability anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, it, but it's definitely, for the road, 
It's a bit hard for me that. It's a little bit hard. The Torono seems plusher. It Perfect. seems nicer, doesn't it? Yeah. And you can yeah. then you can what you can do with the Torono as well. You can go into all of the settings and adjust like extra brake support and yeah. really customize it. Squat. And then yeah. you can have that saved as a as a preset, which you can then assign to any of the maps. Yeah. Whereas on the Ducati, you can go into a map and, and adjust it, but you can't then assign that map. Like the suspension doesn't have its own mapping, if you like, which you can then assign to a rider mode. No. It's just fixed within the rider mode. Yeah. So they're both really good as well because they remember, when you turn them on and off, it yeah. remembers. They both got wheelie control isolated from the traction control, yeah. which does work better on the Tuono. Yeah. So if, if you want a proper sneaky, so in the user mode, you can turn off the well, on, on a runway earlier today, private runway, runway, no planes taking off because of COVID, there's no flights, which was handy. He threw the sauces. Yeah, I got air traffic control clearance <laughs> to pop one. And the traction control was up really high because I've been out in the wet yesterday yeah. and it's still wheelied is incredible all day long. Even with the high Even traction. traction right up. Yeah. And Whereas, so it, we're, we're, that's a little bit more that's, sensitive to that. Yeah, the Ducati, you've got to have traction down to like number one for yeah. it to la label you to do that. Which is good because you still have it on. Well, you can still have it on. Originally we high. thought you couldn't have it yeah. on, but you can have it on, but it's got to be on a low setting. It, yeah. it, if, you, if you're into wheelies, I mean, we're just, if you buy these sorts of bikes, you may, you may be, be into you may wheelies. Not be, yeah. The Torono wheelies better than the Ducati. Yeah, I think They're so. They're both, you know, this uh, it's because of that muted throttle yeah. again. You've got to but really you can, give but, it but a... You say, I do agree with you, but don't read into that that you can't wheelie the Ducati. No, 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 no. no. We've, we've oh, mastered yeah, it quite well, yeah, and yeah. It, it, it does seem to like it as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, it's so planted, this bike. Yeah, though, you, isn't it? what I don't like about it is it doesn't do it under its own steam yeah, over crest, exactly. which I personally quite like in a bike where it's, it's just got engaging, a bit, isn't it? it yeah, exactly, it doesn't do that. But exactly. if you provoke it to, it will. It will. You've yeah, got and, a, and it doesn't seem to protest. You've got to want, got to, to, want to provoke it, whereas that will do, do it, it anyway. anyway and, and, uh, exactly. And if you don't like that, obviously you can put the wheelie control on, you can set the level of it, and it works fantastically as well. So. Don't think, oh my God, it's a wheelie machine, it'll be all over the place, because it's not that. <laughs> I think I think the electronics are on both are very, amazing. Very good. They're both top, top draw, yeah. better than the other bikes that we've ridden, aren't they? Super yeah. naked, I would yeah. say. But I think the Aprilia for me just, just, just has it. it just it? has it. It's a little yeah. bit more customizable. Yeah. And it's it works really well. Swapping over. It's a very different riding position, isn't it? it really is, isn't it? The seat's horizontal, isn't it? The, the pegs are higher, maybe. The I think the, peg, the pegs are up a little bit more, and, aren't they? And the whole riding position is taller. You're yeah. higher, and you're, the bars are more forward than on this. Aren't your they? bum's in the air a bit more than that, and you're you're sort yeah. of coming down on the bars. It's more. Of a, I say it's more of a sporty position. I think yeah. this position puts more weight over the front wheel as well, which uh, probably helps for handling. Oh, that light on that looks so good on that Aprilia. I know. It's a bit like the Triumph, doesn't it? It's a bit yeah, like the Triumph. Yeah, really one. nice. The headlights look good on that, I have to say, in the mirror, it looks mean. Way! The throttle response on this is instant, isn't it? It's so good, isn't it? I think, I think like, quarter of a turn on the throttle on here is equivalent to a full turn of throttle on the Ducati. What do you reckon? It's much more lively feeling. It feels a little bit more cramped, maybe, I don't know. I don't... A bit more what? A bit more cramped on the position, maybe. Do you think? Yeah, a little bit. My sort of knees feel quite close to the, my elbows. It's definitely a more sporty ride. The Street Fighter, I think we both sort of agreed that it's not a particularly comfortable bike. You'd think it would be more yeah. comfortable being the more upright of the two, the more sort of Street Fighter-y naked of the two. Yeah. But it really is a little bit uncomfortable. Anything more than sort of 40 minutes. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit <clears throat> sort of risk-taking. It's, yeah, it's sort of, um, it's not the riding position as such, because obviously it's a naked Panigale, yeah. and therefore compared to that, it's a lot more comfortable. But it's just, we both found it a little bit tiring, haven't we? Tiring's yeah. the word, And I yeah. think, yeah, after about 40 minutes or so, I feel desperately ready for a break, which is quite unusual for a naked bike, isn't yeah. it? And um, as you say, there's nothing really stands out as being uncomfortable. I think it's just the whole riding experience requires yeah. quite a lot of finessing at times, doesn't it? It's, it just gets tiring. It's the concentration, isn't it? Yeah. Especially in town. Yeah. I think when you're out on the open road, it's, yeah. it's fine. But going through town, what we found is it's got a lot of engine braking, isn't it? That's, it, that's the we, problem. We talk yeah. a little bit about the electronics, yeah. but we, I've, I've minimised the engine braking as far as possible on the electronics, but it's still on and off it's the throttle exactly. quite a lot, It's extreme it? engine braking, I would say. And even on the sort of most soft setting of engine braking, that feels like it should be the most aggressive to us, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, completely. And because agree. of that, every time it feels a bit choppy, 
because it is literally, you, you hardly have to use the brakes at all ever because of the engine braking <laughs> so, and you're sort of fighting that on the bars and that's yeah. what makes it a bit fatiguing, I yeah, think. I agree. It reminds me um, a lot of my Gen yeah. 1 Super Duke, yeah. which I had. Yeah. That was the same. It was tiresome in town and that is one of the reasons I sold it in the end. Yeah, but, no, yeah, definitely. But I think, you know, the actual position when you first get on it, it feels comfortable, it feels lovely, yeah. but just after a while, it becomes a little bit tiring. Yeah. Whereas a Torono, which you may think would be the more uncomfortable out of the two, is it's more sports bike sort of orientated, the riding position. It's actually the more most comfortable it, it's incredible i think this new tuono is amazing comfort the seat is so so big yeah. uh, there's a lot of space to move around the padding's fantastic the riding position certainly for me at six foot one is is like a perfect riding yeah. position and i can ride it for two hours three hours and i don't even need a break yeah um so by comparison a lot less tiring yeah. to well ride. we're both tall buggers so whether yeah. it's got something to do with being tall on that one i i agree and so i think it's worth mentioning our yeah, height yeah. because it we're, might not apply to everybody well, else i'm six two you're six one and a yeah. half aren't yeah. you so we're both tall so whether it's because we're tall we're finding that tiring don't yeah. know but it's definitely slightly more well not even slightly for us it's more uncomfortable than yeah. the Torona. But I definitely, I definitely agree though, going back to the engine braking on the Ducati, it's a little bit too aggressive, I think. And um, it does make it a little bit choppy when you're riding it, when you're off. I think that's it. I think that's what, what you didn't like about it in town and that. I think that makes it choppy, doesn't it? It's exactly the word for it. Yeah, exactly. And it's not a snatchy throttle. It's, it's that engine braking just means, you know, you almost, you, you have to fight the braking and you're not, yeah, just the moment you drop the throttle. Exactly. You close the throttle on this and it just sort of rolls on with a nice amount of it. I mean, we both like engine braking on bikes, don't we? And, and it, but, but not too much. And this just has a nice amount of engine braking on there. It does look good from the back, the single side, the swing it up on that, doesn't it? Oh, it looks amazing, the street ride, doesn't it? Um, I do think it looks incredible. Yeah, I, I agree. Especially on the road, like that tail light, the back wheel. It looks like nothing else, doesn't it? It looks so, so racy. Yeah, as you say, in this black, looking down now, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but it's beautiful tank, the shape. It just looks amazing, doesn't it? We're going to be a little bit harsh on these because we were criticised for picking a lot of faults with the Torona when we did the Speed RS okay. review and people right. saying, oh, you know, you're, you're being not being fair, you're, you're yeah. picking out tiny little things. So there's a new category called niggles. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to pick all the niggles out that we've found with these bikes. Because we've had them for longer, we can do that. If it's just a, yeah. you know, like a first ride, yeah, you yeah. can't really. But because we've had these for a while. So first of all, niggles on the Ducati, for me, the grips are too small. Yeah. <laughs> this is a level of detail we're getting into here. The, you need to have the heated grip shop option because they're too small yeah. and it's tiring. We've got big space. It, it sounds, it sounds like a small thing actually, but when, you're, gloved, when you're gloved up, yeah. they, uh, the first thing I noticed is like, oh my God, these, these grips are so <laughs> tiny. It's like, and it's almost like holding two pencils, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and they're really small. As you say, if you've got the Ducati heated grips, It'll I'm sure they'll be a bit right. fatter, it'll, be, it'll cure it. But, uh, but it's just a thing to mention because it, if you don't want to spend the money on the grips. It adds to that fatigue. Because I always yeah. find my right hand is getting really yeah, yeah. painful. It's got no cruise control, which is another niggle worth mentioning. It, and because of yeah. the small grips, you really do need to get a, bit, a little bit of weight yeah. off your wrist yeah. at times. So. But it's easy to correct and fix, but it's yeah. a bit of a strange thing because You'd have to have really tiny hands yeah. to, for those grip sizes to work. Maybe Italians have very small hands. I don't know. <laughs> so grips are your niggles. What are the niggles? Both these bikes, they're not the best on fuel, are they? They, they both have got a bit of a drinking problem, especially when you're opening mm. them up. Even when you haven't opened them up, they are thirsty beasts. Yeah. The Ducati only has a 16 litre fuel tank. Yeah. I think they use about the same amount of fuel, but on the Aprilia, it's got an 18 and a half litre tank. So they've sort of accommodated extra fuel capacity. It does, it's not annoying it's, other than the fact you've got- It's a range thing, yeah, isn't it? Exactly, it's, it's not range. annoying on the, on the Aprilia, other than you've got to obviously find the money to keep filling it up when you do have to fill it up. Yeah. But, but the range is fine. The range is a problem. On the Ducati, it feels like the fuel light's coming on. You think, oh my God, I've only been out for like, barely an hour and no and, fuel and, gauge as and well. the fuel lights on again the fuel so lights on yeah the, it needs a bigger tank doesn't it it needs a bigger tank you can it's literally under 100 miles if i think yeah. it's about 80 90 miles if you're really gunning yeah. it which isn't far is it's it? not a lot of miles is no, it no. if you're going to go on some sort of trip cycle that far. <laughs> well, <laughs> give, give or take 75 give, give miles. <laughs> <laughs> in my opinion the niggles are two things really one which we've already talked about and that's the engine braking yeah. and the fact that you can adjust it but not enough yeah. and it's just way too extreme and you just end up fighting the bike a bit the other thing about it which i think is an annoyance and quite a big one for me personally because i'm quite a hot person is the fact that it's sort of you know called a street fighter which by definition means it should be okay around the streets and it gets boiling the bike gets boiling and i end up cooking and it's you know i said to you the other day admittedly the weather was very hot it was but hot. it felt like I could strap a seat and some rear sets and handlebars to my barbecue and light it and I'd feel the same. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but it is hot. The Panigale V4 oh, is it, even hotter. It's hot, it's, but, it, but it, it's not on the same level as the Panigale. The, it, Panigale, the Panigale is, is boiling. ridiculous. It's boiling, but it it's, it's still hot, and, and and I find that again, it may not bother some people, but it you know the fan comes on when you're in town very yeah. quickly. When I park it after I've been riding, if you've got a little bit of slow work before you get home, which most people do, yeah, the fan yeah, stays yeah. on for about five, six minutes after I've turned it all off. And because of the exhaust yeah. design, right under the seat, you do get a bit of heat do, yeah. coming up through the seat as well. It's quite well insulated, but after time, it just soaks through, doesn't it? Yeah. And you do get a bit of a hot ass. Even the actual fuel in the tank, the tank gets mm, hot as it well. Does, yeah. But it's not on the sort of the Panigale level. I don't know because it hasn't got fairing. Well, that's it's why, just, isn't it? It's because of the fairing. Yeah, it's because of the fairing. But, breathe, it, isn't it? but it is compared to the Tuono, yeah. it's hot. Isn't I mean, it? it hasn't got cruise, but I'm surprised they haven't fitted air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it needs. <laughs> Niggles on the uh, Tuono. So it's, it's very. It has. We've sort of addressed the Niggles before in the last video. We have. Yeah. This sort of funny bit of a lash a on bit. the chain. I must admit. The chain was a bit loose when we rode it last it time, and so it, it, it sort of emphasised those problems. Which sounds like a really obvious thing for two bike reviewers to say that we hadn't even checked the chain. The chain was a bit <laughs> loose, it's now been corrected, it's had its first service. Yeah, it hasn't been the first service. We've before. noticed that obviously the chain's been lubed, it's been adjusted, and it, it rides better. And actually, I've ridden it now for a lot longer than I did on the previous yeah. review. And the little niggles that I had, it has got a little bit of um, yeah, dry yeah. train sort of, sort of lash. But, it's, but it, I, I can ride around yeah. it now and it's fine. My niggles on it are. Not a lot, really. The plastics are a little bit cheaper, which yeah, we've already talked yeah. about. Um, I think it's sort of not an, a niggle of the bike, but it's something that you need to consider, which could be a niggle. It's, it's not that easy to ride at town speeds. That's uh, both of them, though, isn't it? It is both of them. More so on that. Do you, no, 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 but, I, no, but that's a bit like a rocking horse with the engine braking. <laughs> but the Aprilia, you know, I'm finding myself riding around town literally in second gear. And you literally can go up to 45. And I know that may sound obvious, but second gear is enough for most town riding, which yeah. is a little bit unusual on any bike. Normally you'd be into third, wouldn't you? Or yeah, occasionally yeah, fourth. True. I'm yeah. finding myself in second. So it's just a bit rampant. And so it's just a consideration that if you want to keep your license point free, then I think the Aprilia is more of a challenge to do that on than the Ducati. I completely agree. Yeah. And that's what I said last time with the RS review. I said I couldn't have that because I, I, I end up dead or no I could license. definitely have it. I love it. And <laughs> it wouldn't bother me, but it's definitely something to, just to consider. Yeah. If you're not very good at self-discipline, this is not the puppy for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably neither of these are the puppy probably for you, really. Not. If you're not probably not. But other than that, I don't have any other niggles. The Aprilia is yeah, very, very nice. I, I would agree. I would agree. Very nice. Oh, it really sings. Oh, the Ducati is bloody quick, isn't it? It is quick, isn't it? Yeah, once it gets up there, it's sort of brutal fast, isn't it? And it has definitely got a lot more mid-range. I mean, it's still got a lot of mid-range. It's much more than uh, last year's. As I said, you know, the peak torque is now 2,000 revs or lower on this year's bike, and that makes a huge difference. I'll tell you what though, the Aprilia, it, we're going at a reasonable pace, this road's really undulating and a bit bumpy and bouncy, it's so comfortable, it is unbelievable. Even when you give it that over the crest like that, it just doesn't want to come out that front wheel. I know, this comes out everywhere, it's a totally different experience. You know, it's not a bad thing on this, is it? You know, it's safer, it's keeping the wheel down, but it just takes a little bit of the fun out of it. So to finish it up, as we always do with these, we've got the keys to both bikes. We if do. I had the power and could afford to give you the keys to one of these machines, I know what your answer is going to be, but which one would you take and why? I would, without hesitation, have the Aprilia. Um, surprise, and surprise. the reason why, the Ducati for me, um, I find, if I'm brutally honest, I wasn't in love with it. Mm. It's a little bit too sterile for me. It's not engaging enough and it's, it's tiring to ride. Yeah. And I have to be honest, although I do like it, and I think the looks of it I love, and what, you know, from a, from a pose point of view, I think it is it's, right up it's there. It's got it, isn't it? Yeah, really, very much so. And so I do really like it, but at times when I rode it, I really couldn't wait to have a break from riding it. Mm. Which, uh, you know, and actually a couple of days went by where I could have ridden it and I didn't bother, which I think is quite telling. It was very, very hot though. In it was period, very hot, it? it was very hot. The Aprilia, by contrast, Every opportunity I get to go and have another ride, I take, and I really love it. Mm. 
and I love it because it's totally engaging. It's giggle worthy when you get into the, you know, on the boil on it. It's so comfortable for my frame. I don't know whether, it, you know, some bikes just fit you, don't yeah. they? It just fits me perfectly. The little niggles around the chain lash and the gearbox kind of latch, I'm over and I've sort of mastered how to ride it now. Mm. And honestly, I love it. Mm. I really, really, really love it. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm always right. I, I, I'm, I'm, I've sort of fallen in and out of love with this and then fallen back in love with it again. Yeah. It, it's a, it's, I, can't, I can't quite put my finger on what it is with it. I want to really love it. Mm. I think with this, I could, do. you could do so much with it, with the mods and the exhaust. You, it's just, what things yeah. you could do with it would be The look of it, incredible. it's so nice, yeah, as you say. And it looks I, nice stock, doesn't it? It so. does, and I really want to love it. I really, really want to love it. And I've, that's why I spent so much time going through the electronics, trying to make it, mm. can I get up? Get, and I do think with a pipe and a map, all of those things, which are issues for me, I think could be corrected with it. It'd certainly be a lot better. It'd be a lot better. Yeah. Um, but what about the engagement though? And the yeah, no, it's not. But I think that's to do with the throttle though. I think it's because you've got to give it so much. Yeah. I, th I think with, with the throttle corrected, with the mat remap and the engine braking also increased, so you could, you know, yeah. I, I think it could be perfect. So if you were given the keys, you would go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Because that was your question. Yeah, it was my question. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't. It's so close, and I say I'd really. I think I would like to try and yeah. fix this, yeah, and get it exactly how I want it. So I think I would take the Ducati. keys. I think to yeah. the Ducati. Yeah. No, that's good. But it's not a perfect motorcycle by any stretch of the imagination. No. It needs. Whereas that, you can jump on it. Yeah. You can love it. But interestingly, in all of the videos that we've ever done together, you always do genuinely like the Aprilia, but you never pick it. I know, yeah, I, I know, I, <laughs> do I do, I do. I'm not criticising it, but no. that, it's just interesting that you always yeah. kind of go, it's amazing, it's brilliant, it's got no needles, I love it, but I wouldn't pick it. <laughs> I know, I don't, I don't know. It's just something there not quite right for you in the Aprilia. Just, you know, no, it's just doesn't it, appeal. it is all there, but it's just whatever we compare it against. I, yeah. I, I, trouble with that, and you picked up on it, it's very hard to ride sensibly. Yeah, but you and don't I, ride sensibly anyway. I know, well, that's what I mean. And if I had that, I'd be worse. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. And, and I really don't think, I, I think I'd end up no license if I had that. Anyway, consumer advice, ignore what you've just heard. <laughs> that's the bike that you want. This, this could be the bike you want. This could be the bike you want. No, I think you've got to try both. Actually, they're both amazing. I can highly recommend V4s. They're yeah. so powerful. They're so refined, aren't so they? So engaging, aren't they? Really are. Well. And it actually, is... even, even the fuel consumption, which is, they are thirsty, but... On the scale of life, and if you think about how many miles you do a year in reality, most people probably only do between three and five thousand well, miles, maybe. It's a good point, yeah. but these these aren't really your only bikes, are they? Well, uh, not if you're commuting, not if it's your only well, form of transport. Not as a commuter, not, not as, as your commuter. only form no, of transport. No, 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 no. But you say that, but if I bought an Aprilia, which I would definitely consider and am considering, I would have it as an only bike. So it would. No, be but your only form of transport, though. Oh, what? Instead of without it's a no car? car, no car oh, no, either. No, no, no. no, 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 no it'd be out no. of question, wouldn't it? No, you're def they're hobbies, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're but hobby you, bikes. But, but they're either a perfect as your only bike yeah, if you yeah, had a yeah. car or whatever. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I wouldn't let the fuel consumption personally put. It wouldn't put me off just because if you looked at it annually in reality. It's another few hundred quid over six months, isn't yeah, it? You know no, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not. I think I think the engagement, the excitement, the sound. It's worth it. Isn't it's it? worth the extra fuel, isn't it? Definitely. They are. They make you laugh under your helmet like nothing else, yeah. don't they? Yeah. So um, yeah, really enjoyable. I I love them both. We we both love them. It'd be quite good. So you could have the Toyota. I'll have a, I'll have the Street Fighter. Exactly. Sir. And I think what you know pair we would be. And the other thing as well, I think the Italians just just as we haven't really mentioned they're both Italian. They do know how to. They've got that certain. X Factor, haven't they? Yeah, not they, watching it sound like Simon Cow, <laughs> but they do, don't they? And I, and I really, I really do quite like that X Factor yeah. that you get. You know, they're very clever at what they do and how they design stuff, don't they? So, um, yeah, very impressive. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if you've enjoyed that, we're actually going to be borrowing. Well, I'm going to be borrowing the Super Duke next week. So we've really right. tested all of the new Super Nakeds. So it's yeah. going to be the Super Duke last, which was my bike of last year. Mm. You absolutely love the Super Duke. We've both toyed and resisted buying a Super mm. Duke. So I'm really interested to see how it compares with these two, as yeah. we've now spent a fair bit of time with these. Yeah. We won't be doing a comparison review with the Super Duke, but I will be doing a separate follow-up Super Duke, you know, compared to these two. Yeah beauties but if you enjoyed it don't forget press the subscribe button click the like button and we're both or maybe both of us will see you on the next video cheers guys cheers this is power level one which is full power <laughs> I could do that all day.
side. What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared about that. I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Oh! Backfire! That's it! That's it! <laughs> Listen to me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>